So I just made a digital twin of myself that actually looks and sounds like me. I found it a little bit freaky, but I had to try this out to see if it really works. Spoiler, it does. If you've ever wanted to clone yourself to create more content without needing to record and edit your own videos, you can do it with your phone and two game-changing AI tools. Yep, you heard her. And in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to make a digital twin or AI avatar that looks just like you, how to give it your actual voice so it doesn't sound like a robot, and how to bring it together and create video content. Make sure you watch until the end where I'll also share some AI avatar fails so you can avoid these digital disasters. First, we're going to create your video avatar in HeyGen. To do this, you'll need a paid account. The creator plan is sufficient for you to start with. Once you're in, we can go to avatars and we'll be able to create a new avatar. You'll need to upload a video that's ideally two to five minutes long. This is how HeyGen learns your face, expressions, and movements. In the video, you want to speak clearly at a moderate pace. Use natural facial expressions and gestures just as you would in a face-to-face -face conversation. Once you've created and uploaded your video here, you'll need to follow the consent prompts to give HeyGen clearance to create your avatar. If you're having problems with the video and it's getting rejected by HeyGen, you can contact them by using the little chat widget in the bottom of the screen. It's connected to their support and it's very useful to help you troubleshoot. When your AI twin is ready, you'll see it in the Avatars tab here. You'll notice that after your AI avatar has generated, it won't sound like you yet. You can apply different AI voices, but to get it sounding more like you, we're going to head over to Eleven Labs. You'll need a paid plan to do professional voice cloning. The creator plan allows you to do that. And then in Eleven Labs, you'll go to create or clone a voice and choose the professional voice clone. You'll need to upload at least 30 minutes of clean audio of you talking. You can have multiple audio clips that add up to 30 minutes. You just need to make sure that it's clean, high quality audio, preferably using the same microphone and environment for each clip. I used my YouTube video audios as well as audios from my podcast, which added up to 30 minutes in total in order to create my professional voice clone. Once your clips are uploaded, you'll be asked to verify your voice. If this fails, you'll need to reach out to Eleven Labs support for a manual human review, which is what happened to me, but they responded pretty quickly. It will take about two to six hours to process your voice. And once your voice clone is ready, you'll get an email and you can find it in the voices and my voices section here. Then we'll need to grab your Eleven Labs API key. At the bottom of the screen where it has your name, you want to click on this and then we want to go to API keys. Select create an API key, name it and create it, and then copy and paste this code. We're going to then head back to HeyGen and then under AI voice, we're going to integrate a third party voice. So you'll be able to copy and paste your API key here. And in your My Voices section, you'll be able to see all of the 11 lab voices that you've created brought into HeyGen. So let's bring it all together now. We're going to create a video. I'm going to choose landscape and I'm going to choose my hyper-realistic AI avatar. Then when you click on the script section, you will be able to select your professional clone voice by clicking on your name. I can see my voices here and I'm going to choose this one from Eleven Labs, which is my professional voice. And then I'm able to tweak some settings. So on the right hand side here in the three dots, we're going to play with the settings a little bit. Stability, I typically put it at 100%, same with clarity and similarity. In terms of style generation, you can just leave that as is, and the rest I typically leave as is. Now, in terms of the model, you can play around with different ones here. The default one works pretty well for my voice, but you can adjust it based on what you like your voice to sound like. So once you've done that, you'll be able to generate a sound bite of it before it generates the entire video together. And you can do that by clicking on the little play button here, and that will play back the audio through your computer so you can hear it. One of the things you can do with your script is you can add a pause and you click on this section here to add a pause section, and then you can choose the pause time. So you can decrease that or increase that. And what that does is that it just adds a bit of a breath between the actual words that your AI avatar says so that it can sound a little bit more natural. 
And once you've added your script and you're happy with how it sounds, you can hit the submit button here and the video will generate. It will take a couple of minutes to generate depending on how long it is and you'll get an email once it's ready for you to view. And here's an example of my AI avatar digital clone. Hi, I'm Sarah's digital clone. Do you think I look and sound like her? HeyGen also have Avatar 4, which allows you to turn a photo into a video. And here are my thoughts. I haven't found that the Avatar 4 videos have been as realistic as creating a digital clone with HeyGen. The expressions feel very unnatural to me. Not going to lie, this AI of me creeped me out a lot. Are you going to try out creating your own digital twin? If you want to create more AI versions of yourself in all kinds of fun environments like this, all this to create really standout YouTube thumbnails, you're going to want to check out my next video where I break down the whole process step by step and I know you're going to love the results.